Welcome back. Um, now we're going into our next panel, Testimonials, the Producers and Actors Perspective. I have the pleasure to introduce to you uh, the moderator of the next panel, Mr. Petros Lucas, the president of ICCLS and Mayor of Sparta. Petros Lucas has a very long CV, <laughs> but it can be found on our site. But let me uh, mention that Petros is an ex-banker, a former member of the Greek parliament and a former deputy minister of finance and foreign affairs. I had the pleasure of working with him many, many years ago when I was the president of the bank and he was deputy minister of finance. Petro has a PhD in economics from New York University, an MBA from Columbia, an MA in economics from New York University and a BA in international affairs from the George Washington University. And I, th I think uh, now that it's time for me to give the floor to Petros Dukas to continue with his panel of successful producers, directors, and actors who will share with us their experiences of producing movies in Greece. Uh, Petro, the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you, Ftihia. Many thanks, actually. For our first panel, we have some outstanding speakers um, giving us their testimonial about and their perspectives as producers on actor, or actor uh, on Greece as a potential strong filming center and the type of incentives that they have actually had experience. Uh, I will start uh, introducing my friend uh, Joseph Saman, who is outside Greece right now. He started his involvement in the media industry more than 35 years ago. He's the founder of Tanweer Group, a multinational media company with many activities, including but not limited to film and TV content distribution, film production, post-production studios, cinema exhibition, and VR entertainment in territories such as Greece and Cyprus, Middle East, Turkey, the Gulf region, Egypt, India, and Southeast Asia, and more. Tanweer's stellar reputation across all territories is mainly attributed to the successful strategic alliances and partnerships with major companies of the entertainment business, including Warner Brothers, Disney, Universal Studios, Fox, Discover International, and many more. Tanweer's first film production was the sixth most successful Greek film in the box office, Eftihia. And since then, Joseph Samon and Tanweer have committed to creating quality and high standard content with a most recent example, the film Zmirna, My Beloved, a production of Hollywood standards with the largest budget in Greek history and to help making Greece an international hub for audiovisual content creation. Uh, Joseph has excellent personal and professional relationships with the leading Hollywood, Bollywood and European media companies. Next in our panel is Yelena Popovic, is a Serbian-American actress, writer, director, and producer. She wrote and directed Man of God, starring Mickey Rourke and the 2013 New York Film Festival Audience Award winner, LA Superheroes. Popovic produced Monday Nights at 7, starring Edward James Olmos, through her company Simeon Entertainment, and has several other active projects in development, including Dead Serious, Greta Garbo, and Moses the Black. She studied at Playhouse West, an industry recognized as premier acting school and training ground for actors, writers, and directors, founded by Robert Carnegie and Jeff Goldblum. Alexandra Sporter served for five years and as an executive at I Am Global, a world-leading entertainment company with core business in film and television sales, financing production and distribution, and music publishing, where he was responsible for the financial structuring, negotiations, and successful closing of over 20 feature films with budgets ranging from one to 80 million. Alexander Porter was previously an executive at Grosvenor Park LP, a dedicated 100 million film fund backed by the Fortress Investment Group. Alexander Porter, co-founded Neovod, the first direct-to-consumer online movie SVOD service in Greece, and co-founded Simeon Entertainment, a finance production and distribution company behind the 2013 New York Film Festival, audience award winner, LA Superheroes, Monday Nights at 7, starting 
Edward J. Almost, and former UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva, and Man of God starting Mickey Rourke and Russian superstar Alexander Petrov, which debuted its theatrical run in Greece at record box office levels. Potter is an entrepreneur and a film producer actively involved in both the creative and business act aspects of filmmaking. Dorothea Mercuri is an actress and model and a Greek goddess. She is the first child of an Italian art dealer and a Greek mother, raised in Calabria, then soon after her teenage years in Athens, where she worked as an accomplished model for main companies and a cover girl since the 90s. Dorothea has lived a big part of her life in New York, where she studied acting in the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute and had her two children at an early age. As a young girl, she was a student of classical ballet and continued to practice studies of dance. She's fluent in five languages, Italian, Greek, English, French, and Spanish. What a crowd we have here with us. Uh, Joseph, I think we're going to start um, the two of us uh, together. Uh, you've done a super work. Eftichia was a blockbuster, and it appears that uh, Smyrna Agapimeni will also be a blockbuster. What has your experience been so far in filming uh, Smyrna and the relationship with the Greek government and the incentives that the Greek uh, government has provided? Now, is it something you're satisfied with? Are things moving smoothly along? Is there something you would suggest to the government to help um, improve? Because they do want to help uh, filmmakers um, do the right job in Greece. The floor is yours, uh, Joseph. Thank you, my friend. Uh, thank you, the team. Thank you, Tihia. Thank you all, uh, George, for arranging this uh, conference. And uh, I hope that we will do more conferences to come uh, with a little bit more time and more input uh, from various sectors in this industry, because I do believe that Greece has the potential to become a hub for content production. Greece has a potential to become, in a few years, if all of us, including the government, hand by hand, we work together to become the Hollywood of Europe. Why Greece? Many people ask why Greece. First, of course, we have a very good rebate system. 40% rebate, it's quite interesting. And uh, it is now, uh, all the documents uh, are becoming digital, digital. So, though, though I will put like uh, another note later on, uh, what could be improved into the system of uh, the rebate. Of course, again, why Greece? Greece, it's an open studio. Wherever you go in Greece, whatever you want in the world, you find it in Greece. The island, the sea, the mountains, the climate, 330 days per year, full sunshine, and very friendly Greek people. Greek people are really very friendly. I've heard it from many people who come and shot their films in Greece. They were welcomed wherever they want, all over Greece. And apart from that, people, most of the people speak English. I don't want to, to, to name other countries, let's say in Europe, but uh, if you travel in many countries in Europe, it's hardly to find, apart from UK, it's hardly to find people and mainly young generation who speak English fluently. And this is a big, I believe, it is a big help for people who come here to shoot their film in Greece. Greece has also monuments. Wherever you go in Greece is an open museum. You want to shoot museum, uh, uh, monument, you can find it everywhere. You want even to take subject, IP, from the Greek history, from the Greek mythology, it's a limitless. So uh, in my opinion, uh, Greece has a lot of potential to become a, a real hub for content. 
Now, we, we talk about, uh, before I go uh, to Zmirni, tell me, uh, please, if I, I go over the time so I can start to be more, more, more uh, uh, limited. Uh, before, uh, Joseph, before we go to Zmirni, and we'll show a very small uh, film there, what has your experience been with the incentives? Do they work for you? Is it something that you Look, are comfortable uh, The incentive, they work, really, they work. And we have been like Eftikia, we have been paid. It took some time, but what I would like to ask our friends uh, into the ECOME and who are very helpful and very willing, really, to, to, to improve uh, and do better. It's like, uh, still, we have to present physical document, uh, which means for every single invoice, for every single uh, paper needed, contract, etc., you have to make copies and copies and copies and send it to the administration, which I believe now uh, with the government will and uh, to uh, go toward digitization of all the administration and the procedure, we should eliminate this document. We should eliminate to make copies of the contract and the invoices. So at the end of, of, of the day, if you have a big film, you end up by boxes of documents that you have to supply to ECOME. While nowadays you can do it digitally, okay. which is much more uh, simple, and much more effective, I believe. So this is one of the things that uh, we, we can work with the government, with ECOME, to make it better and easier. The second one is to, I know that now that between Hellenic Development Bank and between the Ministry of Digital, they have created a, a system to pre-cash the rebate uh, but uh, still, uh, uh, it is limited, uh, of limited amount, probably is around 900,000. Uh, if it could go higher, it will help to attract more and more uh, film producers to Greece. So th this is one, one of the, of the uh, uh, I think, obstacles a little bit or way to improve the filming and content in Greece. Uh, okay. an another way, another one, which is developing the infrastructure and mainly the human infrastructure. We need more. We, I mean, now, if we have uh, uh, like few Greek production, few international production, we cannot really support more at the same time. We need really more expert teams. And that's where I call for our friend at Ecome and for us all as producers, maybe also the television in Greece to join forces, all of us, and create a workshop in Greece to attract the talent, the new talent, the people, okay. the engineers that are, or, or the talent that are graduated from university and train them and open them the opportunity to become well-trained and supply our industry with new fresh blood. And also this workshop could be very useful for the existing crew, the existing technician, the existing talent in Greece to improve their knowledge with the new technology and to improve their qualification. So, okay, Joseph, yeah. uh, I know you're very excited about Zmirni Magapimeni, Zmirna, my beloved. Uh, could we see a couple of uh, pictures of it? Uh, yes, a couple of pictures. Yes, of course. Of course, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's a film. You're very that, excited. Uh, and I know you're very pleased with the, uh, with the, with the heroine yes. of the film. Yes, excellent. Yes, yes indeed, indeed. Uh, it, is, it is a long story. We started a few years ago. Maybe if you want to project yes, now. Yes, uh, yes, yes now the is the time. If yes. we can play it. Yes. Okay. So we started first, it was not easy to, to, to handle such subject and being very objective, not to enter into a political situation, not at all. It's a story, uh, emotional story of people, uh, Greek people who was living there 
and they went through this catastrophe uh, where the, the city was burned uh, and they have uh, to leave the country at such a situation, uh, nowhere to go, where they don't know where to go in the world, refugees, uh, it is. It, it was a human catastrophe. Okay. Uh, George, can we have the film? Could, could we have the pictures? Or should we move on? Can we play the, the picture, picture we have the... from Smyrna? Yeah, coming up. May I continue a little bit while you are trying to put the pictures? Shall I continue while you are trying to uh, put uh, Joseph, to continue for one minute, please, because we need to move and then we all get back uh, together. So we have a time constraint now. And, okay. Uh, the, the big challenge was, in first, the subject is so challenging. It's, it's a, a subject yeah. of, of, of national interest. <laughs> and uh, I know you want me to go even faster, but I will try. <laughs> uh, we have, the, the challenge was also to, we wanted to build and as you can see in the picture, hopefully now, how okay. we build the facade of Izmirni and we build the port of Izmirni in order to make it so true. Uh, uh, such film, one of the, as uh, our friend mentioned, Petros Dukas, that it's one of the highest budget film in the history okay. of Greece. Okay, okay. Th thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we're moving on and we'll get back uh, together, Jodo, sure. with uh, sure. Yelena Popovic. Uh, Yelena, uh, what has your experience been? You've done some very interesting stuff with a uh, man of God, with the Mickey Rourke. Uh, how do you see this uh, Greece becoming a filming hub uh, developing? And uh, have you had any direct experience? Is it something that you would look forward to? Do you have any projects in mind? Well, I must say that uh, you know I came to Greece uh, six years ago to make this film, and I and I've stayed in Greece. Uh, I uh, agree with uh, Mr. Saman. He's spoken uh, in a lot of detail about a lot of things that I must say, uh, I, I, I cannot but just say I agree with him. And uh, I, for myself, being a creative force, not so much the um, uh, financial or, 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 you know, but I, I can say that, that my experience was uh, uh, I can honestly say all the best, you know, I was, I was, uh, very well received. Uh, people were extremely professional. Uh, everybody worked. Uh, I had a great energy on the set. Uh, people are, uh, it's, it's not only they're professional, but you, you also have a, a great support. And uh, I, I mean, listen, we worked in the middle of pandemic on top of everything. It was, it was extremely challenging on the, on that level. But you know, with everybody's help and uh, hard work, we managed to pull through. So I, I can only say and and to just reiterate again what Mr. Saman already said that Greece has all the locations that, that in the world. You know, I think Greece definitely can become, and it should be a place where uh, uh, we can bring international productions to to make the films or or, or other TV shows or. I think it's one of the best, definitely, if not the best locations in the world. And as he mentioned, the sunshine and 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 wonderful people. So I, I, I for me, this was like uh, the whole thing was like a miracle. I I, I came here, uh, I mean, to to make the film. It happened. So I'm I uh, I don't know if I'm a little bit biased because I love Greece so much, but I can honestly uh, recommend it to everybody. You know, it was it was a fantastic experience. And Alexandre, you're of the same mind. Uh, I assume you have a very impressive uh, career in the film business. Uh, how do you see this uh, Greek effort uh, developing and the Greek incentives? Uh, I understand that it's one thing to give an incentive, the other is how bankable an incentive is. If you can take it to a bank and against this incentive, this grant from the government, this rebate, uh, can be discounted by the bank to provide working capital financing. Have you had any experience so far uh, with the system? Is the system something you're looking forward to work with? Yeah, so uh, th thank you, Petros. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I came to Greece. I've been working uh, here um, since uh, 2015. 
2016, and 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 I know uh, the Ecome program, if I'm not mistaken, started off end of 2018, um, and they've I think they've done um, Panos Guanis and his team have done a fantastic job um, at sh shaping um, um, the program. Uh, and and getting it from you know initially they started off with uh, again if I'm not mistaken it was 25% cash rebate and they very quickly ramped it up to 40% uh, within you know the first six uh, six months six to eight months um, and so they've they've been very proactive at building this program making it a, a robust program for producers. Uh, inter for international producers and and um, and so you know there's there's a process and um, I think they've achieved um, and and have been very successful uh, in 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 achieving that. Um, I've personally, you know, on on the film Man of God, we we have a, a cash rebate um, and uh, we've we've worked diligently with them together hand in hand. Um, in in getting all of that done. So um, to go back to your question about uh, bankability and things like that, I mean, obviously, my personal experience um, is is we were we were sort of early comers and we were sort of uh, trailblazers. I would say we were sort of some of the first uh, to be approved uh, in the in the program, uh, and so. All I can say is that, um, you know, as a, you know, when you talk to financiers or banks uh, that are in the business and that are specialized in financing cash rebates, international cash rebates, you know, their question is always, you know, first, uh, you know, have, has the program been proven? Meaning has money been paid out? Has it been paid out on time? Um, and is there is there a way for the for the cash rebate program uh, and the 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 audiovisual center to sign that cash rebate uh, to us uh, as a security? Um, and so all of these things uh, and all of these details uh, are being uh, have been have been uh, I know are being addressed by by Panos and his team, um, uh, and so. I believe that Greece is a fantastic um, uh, program, is offering a fantastic program. Apart from obviously the, the, the locations are important um, and sort of the sets, et cetera. Um, from a financial perspective, 40% cash rebate is massive, um, um, especially in this day, day and age. Uh, so, you don't have many places that offer 40% cash rebate. Um, so, you know, why not come to Greece um, and you have fantastic crews, um, very professional crews, you have the locations uh, and you have the working program uh, that gives back the cash uh, that you've spent, um, um, you know, for your film. And... Uh... Are you, do, would you have any plans for new filming in Greece? And could we see the trailer, a uh, brief trailer of Man of God? Uh, George, if it's available, it's online. Actually. We cannot take the risk of him becoming a patriarch. He consorts with harlots on the streets. I know it is hard for you to believe that he can be a Judas, but it's true, Your Holiness. I'm not even sure about his good heart. You think that you can come here and pretend to be holy? I'm starting to think that you're not human. You seem to be the real deal. No wonder they don't like you. We will demand Patriarch Sophroni to be removed and place you in his position. Get out. I understand why the people of Egypt love you. We had you here for a short time and you've performed miracles. You're a holy man, your grace. I lost my eyesight due to illness when I was very little. There is so much light in your presence. We feel that you don't exercise enough authority. 
A healthy balance between kindness and authority is best. Where is the evidence of my crime? An accusation that condemns me to a moral death. If it had been done to me, what has been done to you, I would not go to church anymore. Holy man of God, will you please pray for me? The position of power is like a cancer. It eats at you slowly. I wish I would have faith. Father, why don't you say something? It's not enough that you are trying to persuade everyone in here to become a priest. Now you're grooming nuns from here too. What are you doing with these women? Why are you doing this? To refrain from coming here. My body may be withering away, but my... You have an opening, I understand, in uh, Moscow and had in Belgrade, uh, so you're keeping very, very busy. I need to turn to Dorothea. Uh, if you have any experiences so far, is this something that developing Greece into a major film center, something that excites you? You're talking to people that are in the production. And on studio development, we because we need the uh, Joseph, we need the uh, very big uh, studios to get where we think we deserve we can be, given the incentives that the uh, ECOME is providing. So what is your feeling so far, uh, Dorothea? Hi, thanks for inviting me. I'm very glad to meet everybody. Um, I, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit regarding, uh, I have experience working in Italy because I'm half Italian in Cinecittà because uh, a lot of productions go there because of the studios. They have that, that studio that really helps. And the fact that a lot of people don't speak English, it's a problem actually, which is what um, Mr. Seyman was talking about. Uh, and Greece does have that potential. Everybody speaks the language. So everybody, even you know, the <laughs> that makes the coffee. So that helps a lot. It's a grand deal of help because Italians don't speak English, but they do have the brand name. They have the Cinecittà brand name. And the other thing that I was thinking while we were all talking, I was filming in Prague at one point for an American production and it was so cold. It was so cold, I was like, it would have never been that cold in Greece, for example. I mean, minus 10, standing in the, it's, it's uh, I couldn't even talk at one point in the middle of the night. I couldn't even like say the line. And Greece uh, doesn't have that cold, that kind of cold, unless you're like in the mountains. And my experience with Francesca, with the film, um, which actually I have to make it clear, it's a pilot for a TV series. So this film will be presented, um, you know, in uh, Los Angeles um, so that fundings may come in so that we actually film it as a TV series. And um, uh, I mean- in, so in which language? In English. It will be in English. The movies in English apart from some scenes with my friend who throws some Greek here and there. And um, we filmed it in Ermioni, in this incredible location, this beautiful house. So the location was just stunning. Um, the, the director chose a Greek uh, director of photography, a young guy who did an amazing job he was just so excited to do this project. And, and that's what makes it also very special that there are a lot of uh, young people like in their 20s and their 30s that are incredibly talented that are coming back to Greece. And, you know, maybe they studied in America or in England and they come back and they have incredible uh, knowledge and they wanna do it, they wanna make it. And that helps. And also what I agree with everything um, Mr. Joseph Salmon says regarding um, 
that the, the one thing that I think that needs to be done, even though I'm just an actress and I'm just a creative, but I get involved with everything. If I can be of help, I get, I, I try to help, especially when there are foreigners coming here. I, for example, um, said to Chasen, to the director, why don't we film a little scene of him going to the open air cinema in the city, in Athens, which is just an incredible location. And you know how they are, Americans. They're like, yes, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's just put this extra scene in. And um, that, I, I think that th that needs to be done. For example, we can, you know, put more of what is available here not just what people think Greece is, because there are some uh, a thing, some places and locations that they have no clue. If somebody is, you know, in the US and so that can be sort of like, it can be like a strong suit for people to come here. And also working with young people who need to uh, be trained a little bit more, because I, I am lucky in a way because I lived in the States. So I kind of know how they work there and how kind everybody is and, and how everybody is just of service. Because doing this job sometimes is, it's like I'm being of service to a director, to a team, to a producer, so that I can I, we can make this baby born. It's like a baby have making a mobile together. And it's like being in a family all together. It, it, it's, it's a very precious thing. So in order to keep like uh, the, the beauty of everybody being together, working together for the movie, I think that we need a little bit of training in Greece and uh, letting people know that uh, you know, we are here being of service to these people who are coming to this country and uh, we're giving the best we can and we have so that we can make it all happen together. It's not that the Americans are coming here and we're working for them. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes I feel like there is a little bit of that dynamic that needs to sort of calm down. And uh, for the rest, I, I, I always tell my friends, just come to Greece, do this movie in Greece. You know, like they hand me a script and for example, is for Toscany, for Italy. I'm like, but we can do this in the Peloponnese, you know. Yeah. There's olive trees over there or, and, and, uh, and sort of, um, you know, bringing everybody here is, uh, it's been really, um, a thing for me because I came here sort of and I stayed for six, for seven years almost. And I've been waiting for this change. I've been waiting for, uh, to make it happen in a way. And, uh, and I'm very glad it's actually, uh, it's actually starting to really happen. It's really exciting. It's exciting even for, uh, you know, younger actors they need to be in great movies as well. Of course, Greek movies are wonderful, but it's amazing to mix and be mm -hmm. with other people. And uh, mm. a mixed team for me, it's the best. It's the best because we bring the great thing about you know Hollywood and the beautiful thing about the Mediterranean and our soul and our spirit. And that, that brings a lot of magic. That's what I see. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. for, uh, quite, quite interesting and exciting what uh, you told us. I think our message uh, to Alexandros and Joseph is that Dorothea, Yelena and myself are available to star in the next blockbuster movie, whatever the incentives are. We have run out of time, so we don't have time for a full panel discussion. We need to go to a very, very short break and then Eftihia Pilarinu We'll be back to introduce the second panel, which is very exciting about uh, studio development in Greece. So thank you very much all for being here. Off to a short break and then back to you, here.